show that f of z is equal to square root of mod of x y is not regular at the origin. Although Cauchy Raman equations are satisfied, which means we have to show that the derivative of fz at the origin does not exist. This is what the meaning is. It is not regular at the origin. Let's start with the proof. Let fz is equal to u plus iota v. And because this is equal to square root of mod of xy that is given to us, then uxy is equal to, of course, this u and v are the function of x and y. So this u is uxy and this v is vxy, depending upon x and y both. So then uxy is equal to the real part. If you compare, this is equal to square root of mod of xy and vxy is zero here. So let's check the cauchy raman equations are satisfying or not at the origin. All right. So we need to find out curly u over curly x, curly u over curly y, curly v over curly x and curly v over curly y. So let's find out. So curly u over curly x is limit x tends to 0, ux0 minus u00 zero zero over x. This is further equal to limit x tends to 0. So for uxy, putting y equal to 0 over here and x as it is, so this will give you 0. And u00, zero zero, putting x and y both 0 over here, this will also give you 0 over x. So this is equal to 0. Then curly u over curly y. So this is limit y tends to 0, u0y zero minus u00 zero zero over y. So this is equal to limit y tends to 0, putting the value x as 0 and y as it is in uxy, we get this as to be 0 and u00 zero zero again is 0 over y and this is equal to 0. Similarly, we can find curly v over curly x as so this is equal to limit x tends to 0 and vx0 because vxy is already 0 over here. So this is 0 minus 0 over x and is equal to 0. Then curly v over curly y is limit y tends to 0. Again, this is 0 minus 0 over y equal to 0. Okay. Clearly, Cauchy Raman equations are satisfied. What are the Cauchy Raman equations? Curly u over curly x is equal to curly v over curly y. And curly u over curly y is equal to negative of curly v over curly x. Now, all these partial fractions are 0. So, Cauchy Raman equations are satisfied. But what about the derivative at the origin? So now, finding out the derivative of fz at origin, so that is equal to f dash 0, which is limit z tends to 0, fz minus f0 over z. This is equal to limit z tends to 0. What is f of z? It is square root of mod xy minus f of 0 means we have to put z is equal to 0. So z is what? x plus iota y. So this is equal to 0 can be written as 0 plus iota 0. If you compare, so x is coming out to be 0 and y is also 0. So because f of z is equal to square root of mod xy, so f of 0 is equal to Square root of putting x and y 0 over here, you get 0. So f of 0 is 0 over z is x plus iota y. And now if z is tending to 0 along the line y equal to mx. Let's take this as a line y equal to mx. 
just put y equal to mx over here you get square root of mod of mx square over x plus iota mx so we get f dash zero is equal to because on putting y equal to mx everything is in x so we have to write here limit x tends to zero please keep this in mind so this is square root of mod mx square over x taking x outside so this is 1 plus iota m so further this is equal to limit x tends to 0 we get square root of mod of m and x in the numerator is cancelled out with the x present in the denominator and this is over 1 plus iota m right now this limit is not unique since it depends upon m the values of m right so therefore f dash zero does not exist so this limit is not unique why since it depends upon the values of m hence the function is not regular at the origin so therefore f dash zero does not exist right and hence the function fz is not regular at the origin. Alright, thank you.